So this problem I want to do uh, is a little bit harder because it's two different quotients I have. So I'm going to do the quotient rule on both of them. I want to take the derivative of this whole thing, but I want to do the quotient rule on each one. And now I could split this up into x over 3x plus 1 over 3x, but since this is about the quotient rule, let's use the quotient rule. So if I'm just working on this first part, the quotient rule says it's the bottom times the derivative of the top, the derivative of x is 1, minus the top, x, times the derivative of the bottom, and the derivative of x minus 1 is just 1, all over the bottom squared. So that's the first part. That was, If I just wanted to take the derivative of x over x minus 1, I would get this with the quotient rule without simplifying. But I have this other term here, and let's use the quotient rule again. Quotient rule is the bottom times the derivative of the top is 1 minus the top. Notice I'm putting it in parentheses. I'll shift the camera a little bit. Times the derivative of the bottom, which is 3, all over the bottom quantity squared. So I could probably clean this up. This is just times 1. This is just times 1. This is just times 1. And we could do a little bit more simplifying, but I really just wanted to do the quotient rule with two different quotients so you can really see what's going on. Um, maybe I'll do a video later where I do one completely simplified, but for now, learning what the quotient rule is by itself is probably the most important thing.